Hi everyone, it's me Ross and this is my Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus, the last one to close the door. Today's video will be about Google services, how we can install Google services and Google support on this device. Let me show you. Ok, you probably already know, but if you buy this device, Huawei Mate 70 series device, Pro, Pro Plus and so on, if you go in settings about device, you can understand that this device is using Harmony OS. In this case, it is Harmony OS 4.3. And this video will be about Harmony OS 4. something. Because if your device is using Harmony OS Next, which is uh, Harmony OS 5, this video won't work for you because it is completely different operating system. Now, by default, this device is coming with Harmony OS 4.3 and I will explain you how you can install Google services. And this is very simple. If you go in Huawei App Gallery, first you will need to go in that Me tab, tap on it, select Settings, scroll to the bottom and you will find Country slash Region. Now I am using Spain and my advice to you is to use Spain too, because it has more stuff than other regions. This will work also for a region like uh, Mexico or uh, even Malaysia. But if you use Spain, you will get the most advantages from it. So when you are switch to that region, of course, uh, you will, if you switch a region, you will need to enter your Huawei's account password. But this is easy. And then tap here and search for application code micro G. Tap on search button and these are here the applications you will find inside. So micro G service you need to hit install. That's it. Just hit install, wait it. You can see it is together installed with that micro G companion. Micro G service is a little bit bigger so we need to wait it to download and install it. Okay, it's ready. Now it's installed. Before we continue, if you are in a Spain region, you can hit here on the search bar Aurora Store. Here it is and just hit install again. By the way, if you want to ask me if uh, this is a secure micro G, yes it is. Because everyone is asking me in the comments uh, if this is a secure, yes it is. This is an open source project, you can uh, go to GitHub and check everything, the source code and everything. Even better, if you want to use micro G and you don't want to switch uh, regions about your Huawei app gallery, you simply can open your browser and go to the website microg.org. Search it and here it is and if you tap here on the hamburger menu, you will see a download page, you can hit on download now you can download directly this micro G service. Just scroll down a little bit and you will find it. Micro G companion, micro G services and you have here alternative downloads and here it's written com Google Android GMS which stands for Google Mobile Services and at the end you have the letters HW that stands for Huawei. And these are the versions, these are the versions you need to download for your Huawei device. If you download it from App Gallery, it will be directly installed. If you download it from uh, the website of uh, micro G, you need to down you need to install it manually. When you are ready, install it, just hit settings, apps, apps, and search for micro G. Here it is, and you need to open that micro G services. Just hit on it and here my advice is to give it all the permissions to work correctly. If you skip a permission probably it will make a problems. That's why if you tap location all the time. Why all the time? Because in that way uh, if you are using Google Maps it will work correctly. Other way it won't. So give it all the permissions. Plus tap here on more permissions and give them two. Scroll to the bottom, draw over the apps. Yes, it should be enable to go now in that uh, circled settings icon tap on it and now you are in micro g settings from here tap on self check and you can see these are marked tap here and tap ok 
tap on every this uh, service framework for now it won't work but all of these should be marked and keep in mind if uh, play store phone sky has correct signature this one should be also marked when you are ready here and and self check is everything marked except, except this one service framework gsf now tap on google account tap on that account sign in and enter your google account and sign in of course and now your account is added you are ready you can go back and check if there is anything else you forget to give a permission or something but for now you are ready with that micro g services and now you should have your google account in your settings user and account yes we have now google and you your account will be here guys here came before we uh, proceed with uh, installing applications from aurora store and so on i want to tell you something if you want your google accounts to be shown here and also to be synchronized correctly all the time when you add a new google when you add a new contact it will appear on your other device or in your google account you should do this go here go for google.com now we are in the google page here tap on the search bar and search for the following application google contact sync that's it google contact sync apk hit search and open apk mirror for example download the latest version it is uh, from july 11th 2022 it's an older version but it will work hit here scroll down again and select download apk you can see it's a very small apk just uh, 1.5 and hit download now it's ready install it of course now this application is installed but we are still not ready now you should go in settings apps apps you need to search for contacts this is google contact sync now guys give it permissions to read the contacts other way it won't work when you give it the permissions now in contacts settings accounts and select your google account and sync contacts of course now contacts are start syncing and your contact should appear you can see i already have a different contacts here appearing so this is the way to use google contacts synchronizing all the time by just installing a simple application now when we are ready we just download from our huawei app gallery aurora store so hit on it tap next give it permissions of course and when you give all the permissions just click on finish here you can just uh, select to login using your google account or you can just select other ways to login but i will use a google account because all my applications will be my account will be in it and all my applications will appear here and when you add your google account it will directly open here this uh, uh, app list you can start installing applications google applications google it you should install applications one by one because uh, it will not be as uh, google play store default so i will install a couple of applications now and will show you after a minute when i'm ready that they are working and you can see google chrome is working and my account is added let's check others gmail my account is added youtube you can see here my account is added even i'm a premium member because i pay for a premium let's tap on google you can see my account is again here that's it guys now you can start using google services on your huawei mate x 
6 or Mate 70 series device because this will work also for X6 uh, new device also this will work for almost every Huawei device but I just want to make a complete setups for Mate 70 series devices using uh, Harmony OS and latest Kirin CPU now you can see and something I want to tell you about maps if you open maps if you tap here it will start locating you but Google Maps is now locating you but as I already told you if you tap on location you need to give it permissions to all the time because that's how it will work correctly other way it won't work correctly and also if you want all the applications to receive notifications and anything because you will receive also notifications from YouTube, Gmail and so on, settings again, apps and services and here launch manager. Now select the applications you want to receive all the notifications like for example Facebook if you want all the notifications manage automatically should be disabled and also enable all these three options auto launch secondary launch and run in background this will guarantee you will receive notifications do same for gmail because it uh, if you leave it manage automatically it will just kill the applications from the background that's why disable automatically and enable all these options for applications you want to receive notifications of course because uh, other way maybe that that can lead uh, to battery drainage this is it and also guys because uh, there are applications for example viber which is available also in huawei app gallery if you search for viber you can see it don't install it from here if you want all your messages and all your backup to be connected with this device if you want your backup here just don't install this viber messenger and go install it from aurora store and then go here to huawei app gallery and disable automatically and and disable auto update for that uh, viber because other way it will update it and it will again switch to the version from huawei app gallery go here settings app updates and here select viber for example and disable auto update also do the same for whatsapp and in that way if you uh, download uh, google drive your backup is there for viber and whatsapp and it will be synced with this device and this viber and that's it guys now we have all the google services working even if you open youtube uh, and you are connected to the same network you can start casting to your tv so all the google services are working our contacts all of our contacts are here so they are synced and uh, they will be synced so almost perfectly working huawei device with google services thanks for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos have a nice day